Finally the silence I've longed for. Finally a break from the screams. But why did it have to be like this? I'm alone now, all because of that mistake. Now everything will come crashing to the ground, all because of me. I bury my head in my hands, there has to be a way out of this. There's always a solution. But no, even as capable as my parents were they barely managed, I'll never been able to hold things together. I stand up and head inside, in my head their screams still echo. The sitting room still smolders and the house smells of smoke. At least a roof over my head offers some false sense of security. They could tear it down without a second thought, but the illusion of safety is nice. My bedroom was left untouched, probably it wasn't important enough for anyone to care. It smells of smoke, but at least it's familiar. I lift up my mattress and pull the bracelet out. I can barely look at it, I want to destroy the thing. I want to destroy everything and run away somewhere where they'll never find me again. But I can't, I have a responsibility now. I slip the bracelet onto my wrist and secure the clasp. I don't even know how to use it. If only I'd left it with my parents, then they'd still be here. They'd still be alive. I shake my head, I can't let the grief overwhelm me, I have a job to do. I can't let things get any worse than they are, but how I'll stop the insanity, I have no idea what to do. I can't do this on my own. I can't do this on my own, I'll need help. I hate having to beg, it makes me look weak. But her aura is fair, she'll help me. Maybe together we can stand against the coming storm.